creatives, how are you? Welcome back to the Nerd Creative channel. Now we're starting a new project. Um, it's a Halloween themed project because Halloween is just around the corner and I thought it would be quite fun to celebrate Halloween this year by a creative project. And we're going to start with a paint by numbers that's Halloween themed. So I've got new paints, new brushes, and we have a new canvas. So let's get these brushes open. Um, and you may have noticed that my, my video it seems to be better. And that is because I'm using my iPhone because I'm having problem with the streaming software that keeps crashing um, so to get around that I'm using my iPhone it's also a better camera as you can see it picks up the lighting of this room and everything so so this is a Halloween fireside chat pimp by numbers part one Grab yourself a coffee, sit back, relax, and always enjoy. So, got to get into these paints. Now, I didn't open them before I started recording. Um, they seem to be heat sealed, so I don't know how difficult this is going to be. But let's just, let's just get them opened here. So, as you can see, they are different paints compared to previous Paint by Numbers projects. So, and we have three brand new brushes um, because they do kind of, they do kind of go really bad towards the end of the project. Excuse the ambulance out there, you know where I live. So, there we go. So, what we need to do is I need to cut the paints up and put them in this dish. This is what I do anyway. You you guys can do your own kind of routines. But so there seems to be only one colour for everything. So I shall start cutting out so that I'm cutting them up. So I'm placing them in, in here. So yeah. So you're actually getting to see me do a project from the ground up um, because, you know, as, as I explained that I had a problem with videos and getting them off my phone and stuff and I had to delete a lot of videos. So I had to delete the early videos from the Paint by Numbers, uh, the, the previous project. Um, but now I've found a way of getting them off the phone. That's hence why I'm using the phone at the moment until I can find a better streaming software. Um, this is where we are. So let's get these separated. It's actually what I did in the first video of the first uh, Pimp My Numbers set. But as I say, it got deleted, you never got to saw it, see it. So here we are, cracking on. And, it, and, and I can just tell you, it's very warm today. It's like 31 degrees here. And I've got the fan off because it interferes with audio. It's very hot, so grab your beverages of choice and we shall begin. Excuse the slurping, but I am a human. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of these dark colours out. Because I'm going to start with the dark colours because that seems to be the um, go-to for everybody that does the paint by numbers um, and it will be my go-to system as well so let me get all these paints in there and pop them aside and 18 um, okay so this one seems to let's try and check see which is the darkest so that is the darkest 19 is the darkest 
uh, I'm assuming it's kind of black or near black so put these brushes aside and we will start with 19 so um, this is my first looking at this anyway because um, I I, am, uh, I unfolded it or ro unrolled it should I say folding no I didn't no it wasn't folded folding is not good if they fold them and they send you them you got to iron them it's craziness they could just simply roll them up it's much easier but anyway right so this is this is what we will do so we're going to start with color 19 and I don't know what color it is it looks like a very dark brown yeah I don't know if you can see that it looks like a very dark brown so we're going to start with that this is my first time looking at it uh, close up so I don't know where all the numbers are um, so this is 19 so we will start with 19 and we will begin so sit back relax enjoy grab your beverages let's go so I d Ooh, this pen is not great it's very it's very weird yeah so yeah it's, it's good to be back it's good to have your company. Oh, this bit is very odd. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's not, it's not really, really thick, but it's painting like it is. If you get my meaning, it's kind of, I'm going to struggle to do the edges, edging. So, but, so let's, let's just begin. So we need to start somewhere, so we'll start here. But yeah, I am enjoying the weather. It's so hot and so good. I mean, we're in September now. Although, it's at October, should I say. We're in October now. Um, and it is Halloween month, so I will be breaking out the Halloween films and the, giving them a warm up to get me into the Halloween mood. Uh, there's a, a lot of Halloween things that I like to watch. It's kind of like a the routine, tradition, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I do. I do. I do like this time of year. Um, the kind of slow run up to uh, Christmas. Which nobody wants to hear that word being said, at least until November. You know, Christmas, craziness. So, but we're not there. We are not there. We are here. So, it's very messy though. It's kind of like, I don't know if it's the brush. I'm just looking at the brush. It may be the brush. What I'll do is, I will switch brushes because I've got two th small brushes and one big so I'll actually try this one this has got like a longer uh, head on it so yeah yeah Halloween is a great month October is a great month for Halloween with Halloween and then as soon as Halloween's done hello it's Christmas well, it's not actually Christmas, but it's the big, the big run up to Christmas, um, and uh, friends across the pond will actually celebrate Thanksgiving before Christmas. Now, I don't know when that is. You could probably put uh, put it in the comments to tell me exactly when Thanksgiving is, but I know you guys don't consider thinking about Christmas until. Thanksgiving is over. We used to have a, a similar thing over here uh, called Harvest Festival. Now I think it's a kind of a Thanksgiving kind of thing. But um, when I was at school, Thanksgiving was a thing. Sorry, ha uh, Harvest Festival was a thing. But now. I went to school a long time ago. No, no, don't. No, right. GK. So I went to school a long time ago and Harvest Festival was a thing. Now, can anybody tell me if Harvest Festival is still a thing? This brush is very. It's 
very, it's very hard. I didn't flick the bristles before I started. I know, I know, right? So, so yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I always feel I'm forgetting everything when I start a new series of videos. But yeah, Halloween films, so I won't go into too much depth um, with the things that I like. I could probably name titles and stuff, I won't talk about them because this is not the channel for me to talk about those things that I like. So I can name a few, like Halloween, 1978, I do believe, I'm thinking 78, 79, um, the original uh, Halloween, John Carpenter film, brilliant, um, always worth a watch. Um, I also like Halloween 2, which is, um, for those who haven't watched it, it's kind of, it's later that night, what, whatever happened, at the end of the first film, this continues and is later on that night. And Jamie Lee Curtis is in it again. And then from there, I skip all the other ones. I don't like Halloween 3 or 4 or 5. Or, you know, I, They don't work for me. They're not the same as the Friday the 13th or the Nightmare on Elm Street. So I would skip on to Halloween 2018, um, which is great. Because it's kind of a trill it's a brand new trilogy to finish it. Um, and then I will follow that by Halloween Kills, which came out a year or two after. And then one that came out last Halloween. It's called Halloween Ends. And boy does it end. You know the way you know at the end of like the other the other like Friday the thirteenth or Freddy or anything like that, Jason. Oh. Jason, yeah, Jason, Freddy, you know, and previous uh, series of uh, Halloween films was is like they destroy him, but yet he manages to come back. Um, in this film, they actually destroy him in a way where there is no way he can come back. Um, well, not in our universe anyway. Um, he's destroyed and you can see that there is no way little pieces of him can be stitched back together. Like, um, I don't know. You know, like, you know, like the, term, the liquid Terminator from Terminator 2 where he explodes into a million pieces, melts and goes back together. Michael Myers can't do that. Michael Myers is not made of liquid metal and he's not a, t a Terminator. So, let's see. Let's find, see if we can find another, another 19. Let's double check. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's one up here, and there's one in there. So we could do this here and then do that there. Mm. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, doing the dark colours is is kind of a good idea. So it kind of gives gives shape. And To it, so apologies for the noise outside. Um, I'm actually starting this video earlier than I would normally. I'd normally start my videos at 6 pm, um, but I decided to crack on earlier just because it's really hot and I just want to start this series. Of the Halloween specials. So, I think I know what that is. I do know what that is actually. Uh, yeah, so it's Halloween themed, but it's also a 
kind of spin on a 90s TV show. That's its theme, although it's it's relating to everything Halloween and I mean you may guess what what it is from just painting this when I painted this section because it's it's a very obvious shape. Yeah. So yeah, so So I've been doing a bit of catching up as well on things that yeah um so um I caught up on uh Star Trek Strange New World season two. I finished the final two episodes as I thought as I previously thought there was only nine episodes uh, which I thought was a bit random and I left it because it was the last episode that I thought it was the last episode but it wasn't there were 10 episodes so I watched episode 9 and 10 9 I don't know about your thoughts about it but I thought it was a bit strange I mean it is called Strange New Worlds um, but it was a strange premise um, yeah I'm not I'm not a fan of those types of episodes uh, if you haven't seen it you know there'll be only one word spoiler for it and that word is uh, singing they had a lot of singing and in the episode also dancing that's two words but singing now I know I do recall I think Buffy although I haven't seen it all the way through and I've only seen like sporadic ed episodes from season one but I do believe that Buffy had a singing episode too um, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of musicals uh, as such um, well let's just say I like a musical and I like a musical right on stage the thing that I'm not a fan of is musical films I mean there are some exceptions like Grease um, Dirty Dancing although I don't think they sing in Dirty Dancing but I know so I don't like watching a film and then everybody bursts into song for no reason that's that's not for me I don't I don't really I don't really enjoy that now there are certain ex exceptions like I said um, What's the Australian one? Uh, Queen of the Desert. What's it, what's it called? That's that's a good one because it's very ABBA and I like ABBA. I also like uh, Muriel's Wedding because it's a lot of ABBA in there. I do like ABBA, but uh, Mamma Mia, not for me. Mamma Mia Two, not for me too. Uh, Greece, yes, because I kind of grew up on it. I didn't really think it was a musical. I just. It's a, because the singing kind of made sense but you know when you watch them films and just somebody automatically erupts into singing and you're like what is this you know what I mean you know you know when it doesn't seem to fit uh, the film it's in that's when I don't like it like Greece. Oh, hit after hit after hit after hit. You know what I mean? It's kind of, it worked. It just worked. Uh, Dirty Dancing. Now, I'm not sure if they did sing in that. It was just really good music. That's it. it was really, I think it's classed as a musical, but I think to be technically a musical, I think it needs to be singing in it. So, like, now, don't switch off. Please don't switch off when I say this. I've tried to watch it a few times. And I know there's a massive cult behind it, and I probably need to give it a, another go. But the Rocky Horror Picture Show, I don't get it. Because I never watched it as a child, or teenager, or growing up. So I know there's a massive cult following behind it. And there's there's there, there are people get dressed up for when they go and see it and stuff. You know what I mean? I'm totally on board with all that. Um, but I don't really understand it. 
Um, I'm not saying I don't like it, I'm just saying I don't get it. So there's a difference in the, in the fact that if I did understand it, then I would get it on. I would get it, but I don't understand it. And I really, I probably do need to give it another go. Uh, I tried watching it, but like I said, I do steer clear of musical films. Um, can't really think of any off the top of my head, but I remember I didn't watch Dirty Dancing until about 2016, 17. Everyone banged on about it, but I was like, no, I don't really like musicals. I don't like them. I, I, I won't go out of my way to watch one, but my friend, who's who's not your musical type, really liked this film. He's not a musical type of person. He's not really into that sort of thing. He really likes Dirty Dancing, and I'm like, well, if he liked it, I'll give it a go, and I did, and the soundtrack is awesome. It's amazing. The songs uh, from start to finish, the storyline, the dancing, oh, man. You know, that is just so good. And you get these films that come along, become huge hits around the world, and that would be one of them. <coughs> I'm just going to throw up a bit of coffee. Grab your coffee, guys. Alright, I need to. You know what I'm gonna do? You know, you know what I'm gonna say now, don't you? You know what I'm gonna say. I need to spin the canvas, so it's the first time we're gonna spin the canvas during this video. So I'm going to spin it because I need to tackle some of the other angles. Let's see if I can get to the angles. Let me see if I can move this out of the way. got so many things on my desk that I need moving but I'm going to be getting a new shelving thing a new bookcase which will allow me to move things off my desk so right let me just make sure that's on properly there we go okay bring the paint back continue just checking that I'm still on screen <clears throat> this bottom bit, bit is not on screen and I don't know how I can do that. No apologies anyway. I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with this bottom one that's kind of fallen off the screen. I know this paint's gonna thicken because it's so hot. So yeah, so we were talking about films, Halloween films. So that that was them. Um, there's the Conjuring, Conjuring Universe, I'm not going to go into them because this is a family, this is for family viewing, but there's the Conjuring Universe that I like, which I've seen, I think I've seen all of them, of, of, obviously, so, so the Conjuring Universe, which I really like, um, which obviously it starts with the Conjuring, I'm not really going to go talk into detail about them, so I'll be watching them. And then Insidious, maybe, probably. Uh, and I kind of dust off a lot of things that I like watching. I mean, there's some that are not really Halloween themed, but there's one called The Visit, and one is called In Fear. They're not really Hall Halloween themed, but they've got kind of a bit of a bit of a scare to them which is kind of good so those are the ones that I would dive into maybe Friday the 13th but definitely um, de I was trying to say definitely Friday the 13th I do like those films and then there's Nightmare on Elm Street so those kind of films that I kind of do like to watch uh, there's there's some one there's certain ones like that are not Halloween themed but scary in in the, in the sense and age restriction please they they've got age restrictions on them for a reason so kids under eighteen 
shouldn't be watching them. That's a disclaimer I'm putting out there. So there's um, there's one called um, White Noise. <clears throat> White Noise, yeah. That's quite scary. And its sequel, White Noise, The Light, is scary as well. Um, and as I say, they are age restricted, they are 18, so unless you're 18 or over, you shouldn't be watching them. That's my disclaimer. I'm not, nobody under the age of 18 should be watching films like that. And I agree. Just, let's tight, let's tighten this up now. Get it going. Mm, that's quite kind of quite obvious, but is it though? Is it quite obvious? It's quite obvious to me because I know what it is, but yeah. So I'm trying to think of the other films. There was one, but I can't remember its name. I know I kept forgetting its name, and I eventually remembered it and got it on Blu-ray. Um, but I don't know where it is. And so I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called until I find it again. But I do want to get it watched this month, being Halloween month, as I say. Because um, not every scary film or Halloween film does actually scare me. There are certain ones that do. I can tell you the paranormal activity films do scare me. Um, and I'm not ashamed to say this, but. Years ago, I used to watch scary films, horror films, or whatever. I used to watch them at night. Um, I don't watch them at night anymore. I know. I know. Corn. A grown man. So I do watch them during the day. Certain ones that I just, that really do. And there's also um, Texas Chainsaw. Now, those films are good. Even the Netflix one. The latest, I think it's 2022, the Netflix one. They're not that scary, they kind of, they, they kind of, they're just fun. But, again, they are age restricted. So, so they're not, they're not 13, or whatever they call them, 13, whatever they call them. Where, you, where a 13 year old can watch them with a parent, these are not them. These are not them. These are, you have to be 18, and that is it. If you do watch them when you're under the age and you get scared, they're not for you, not just yet. When you are 18 and over and you do watch them, you'll kind of see why. The other one, um, the other one, the other cult one kind of is like um, uh, The Exorcist, there's that. There's uh, Blair Witch Project, of course, which I did see in the cinema. I saw The Exorcist as well after it was banned for 35, 30 years or whatever it was. Yeah, so I got to watch that. Although I don't think I was old enough when it first came out, so yeah. So. I'm older, but I'm not old. Let's put it that way. So, but yeah, Blair Witch Project one and two good. But yeah, In Fear is good. Um, it's got a Scottish guy in it. It's a bit of a mystery going on. I um, can't remember what you call him. He's got a really cast. It's got really. It's got a really interesting surname. Let me just Ian Ian de Cast. I can't remember Ian de Cast something. It's re, It's a really cool Scottish name. It's like Ian de Castica or something like that. It's a really cool name. I'll, I'll have to Google it to kind of find out. But he's in. Um, he plays uh, Fitz in. Marvel's Agents of Shield, and he's he's great. He's a great character. He's a great actor, should I say? He was actually in um, he was actually in Coronation Street when he was a kid, playing um, 
uh, I think it's Mike Baldwin's son, I think. He's, um, so he's Daniel Osborne's nephew. I don't know how it all works out, but he's Dan if you're watching it now, he's Daniel Osborne's nephew, and he's he's kind of with Sarah, but I think Sarah uh, Platt, I can't remember his name, but he played the younger version of him. If you guys are watching the classic episodes, it might be it might be in there. I don't I don't really know. Adam, that's it. Adam Barlow, that's him. It's Adam Barlow, and because uh, um, so Adam Barlow is I don't know who his dad I don't know who his dad is or his mum is. I don't really know. Because I know um, Osborne, what do you call him? Um, Ken's, is he Ken's son? Yeah, Ken's son is Adam's uncle. Yeah. Daniel Osborne, that's it. Daniel Osborne is, 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 is brothers with Peter Barlow. And... Tracy Barlow, yeah, that's how they do it in soaps. It's very confusing. It's very, very mixed up. But yeah, so he, so Ian DeCastica, I think you call him. That's how, that's his name. He, he's in this film called In Fear. And it's really good, and I every time I watch it, I love it. It's just, it's just, it's one of them films that you can keep going back and back and back. Uh, excuse the sirens. There seems to be a lot going on out there. Well, I'm trying to talk about these films. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is this is coming on quite well. There. There's quite a lot of these actually. There's quite a lot of these 19s. So let's crack on. Yeah, I am enjoying this new paint by numbers. Halloween edition. Which is great. Let's put the paint in shot. So I'm not dipping my paint in a mysterious off screen. Off screen. Paint pot, invisible off screen paint pot, shall we say? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is looking really good. I think the lighting's okay. I've got two. I've got two. I've got two. I haven't got a, I haven't got a new one yet because um, I'm using the iPhone and the iPhone lighting is better. It's just better. Um, if I can find a a new streaming software that I can use that won't crash, because towards the end of these videos it kept crashing, um, and it crashing a lot, and I'm like, what's going on? So I had to about had to abandon it for now. So um, let me see if I can move some things out of the way so that I can spin this slightly there we go sorry I've knocked the camera so I can take it at an angle that I can work with all right there we go I may be off screen here oh, I may be off screen I might have to move it again move it back out oh. Make sure I'm on screen. Yeah, there we go. It's not an angle I can work with really. I'll go as close to it as I can. Because I could switch over for the bigger brush because it's quite it's quite a bulk here that I can get done. 
But yeah, there's, there seems to be a lot of this dark colour and it will actually uh, show itself better and kind of show what it is. And as you know, I like to keep the guessing games going. And I like you I like you guys to guess what you think it might be or what you know it is. So if you if you'd like to guess, just put your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think. It's very early days, it's very abstract, like I say, it's very some people may actually have seen what it might be or what it is or what they know it is and if you are correct I will not be telling you you're correct and let other people keep their guesses going so yeah so yeah happy Halloween everybody it's getting into the colder months of the year in most countries uh, in certain parts of the world in other countries hello Australia hello New Zealand you will be entering into your summer which which is awesome but I find it quite bizarre celebrating Christmas in the summer that's just yeah so instead of having like a hot winter which it would be for us Christmas is in their summer, which makes sense because the hottest time of the year should be when people people who work all year round can enjoy the heat of their country in their national annual holidays. So, yeah. Otherwise, I think summer, their summer would, if it was like ours, like... June, July, August. You're talking that people are going on holiday in the spring. End of winter, into spring. You know what I mean? It's kind of uh, that. That that wouldn't make sense. So let me see. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to switch brushes. Just going to give this brush a swish and just dip into this. So I'm just going to give the brush up here. The bristles are great on here. So, so I'm just going to fill in this. I think it's kind of looks black, but in the pot it looks like it's dark brown, but I think it's black. Yeah, the more I'm looking at it now, it does look black. But yeah, yeah, that's really taking shape for the first colour so I'm glad that the first dark colour I'm using is black because that's what I wanted to use although it kind of looked like a very dark brown but it being black makes sense for the areas that I'm painting so that's that done yeah it's coming up it's coming up rather good so there's another 19 here which I'd like to do with the smaller brush. I would like to tackle areas with a smaller brush to create a, you know, do the edgings and create a bar, like a, like a concealed area, you know, like all the way around, and then get the big brush and go in the middle. That's what I t that's what I like to do. So this is quite. Yeah, so it's it's quite unusual this. I mean, when it's done, you'll see it's quite new. It's quite it's quite unique. It's kind of Halloween. Um, like I said, with a '90s comedy series twist to it. And you'll see when it's done or nearly done why I say that yeah so yeah so I've caught up on the last two episodes of season two of Strange New Worlds 
so the the last episode was the you know was the kind of the the one the one that would the, the kind of they haven't really been, i'd say they haven't really been building up to it but they kind of have kind of gone there before and this is the gone the new gone not man in rubber suit gone this is like scary alien films type gone and it's really good and it's left on a cliffhanger which is great because I don't think they, they've done the cliffhanger yeah they didn't do a, I don't think they did oh yeah they did a little bit of cliffhanger yeah they did at the end of season one where uh, number one officer was arrested that's right yeah but this is a bigger cliffhanger because there's a lot of things at stake a lot of peril and we've got to wait till season three comes out before we can find out how they get uh, I made a mess of that oh dear it's it's the paint's rather thick so yeah so so that's where we were with uh, Strange New Worlds and also before I continue um, I did mention that Dune the remake shall I say part two was coming out in November that's not the case anymore it's been pushed back to next year and it is because of the writers strike and the actors going on strike as well because they can't promote they can't promote it market it around the world well they can they can market it around the world but um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if they're allowed to market it around the world or it's just they can't market it in America I don't know how they would anyway so it's been pushed back because of that the new Snow White has been pushed back as well I think for the same reason um, so yeah and as I said uh, Avatar 3 has been pushed back as well so everything's been pushed back Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 I don't know if that's still going to come out on time um, so I still need to watch I think I don't know if it's Ghost Protocol or Rogue Nation whatever 5 is and then I got to watch Fallout and then I have to watch the new one so yeah yeah so I haven't done that yet so anyway yeah so anyway uh, I also caught up I had two episodes of The Mandalorian Season 3 to watch and boy was that epic oh, boy was that epic a lot of fight scenes a lot of battles in spaceships and hand to hand um, we got to see like a hybrid like a Mandalorian Stormtrooper now that was new so yeah it's quite interesting a Mandalorian Stormtrooper hybrid and that fight that that those fight scenes were good so yeah so I'm looking forward to um, season 4 of Mandalorian because they've spoilers now now, 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 flick away, step away if you don't want spoilers, if you haven't seen it, and then step back when you have seen it. So this is the spoiler zone. So they, they've, uh, Mandalorians have retaken Mandalore, as the, you know, because they had to abandon it, abandon it for, I think because of the Empire, uh, but they've retaken it back and they've, 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 uh, reignite, reignite, uh, reignited the foundry where where they make their armor and supply there. so that's quite exciting so the Mandalorians are back on Mandalore so yeah so I've caught up with that so I'm looking forward to season 4 coming out so spoiler uh, zone is now closed for the Mandalorian so you can skip back yeah let's see any big 19s it's one there it's one there as well 
I can't turn it, turn it. It's very difficult to do it and be on camera. But yeah, I'm getting quite a lot of it done. Let me see. Yeah, while I'm here, might as well get as much of this done as possible. Yes, I'm liking the black on the canvas. It's really popping. It's really, it's really getting there. And there's a lot of black on here. Yeah. So yeah, those are the things I caught up on. I've also been continued to watch uh, Star Trek Enterprise season. Two, uh, season one, which is good. Um, it's really good to revisit the old episodes uh, that I haven't watched in many a year. And yes, yeah, so it's been really good. There's been a, like a Cold War, Future War thing being discussed a bit more um, involving the Sulabon. As Andorians have been appearing more. Um, uh, the lead Andorian led by Jeffrey Coombs. We know who Jeffrey Coombs is. He is, he played Wayum in Deep Space Nine. He played Brunt. Also in Deep Space Nine. He's, he's played quite a few characters in Deep Space Nine. And uh, he, now he's playing an Andorian. Is, he's kind of a lead character in the Andorians because if the Andorians are, are on screen, he is there. And he doesn't like to owe people a debt. So the reason he's come back is to uh, is to repay Captain Archer for what, what he did a couple of episodes before. Oh, my fingers just dipped into that, but it doesn't matter. I just got to be extra careful, but yeah, I'm just getting as much much of this black done as I can in this first video. And it's good to be back, guys. It's really good to be back uh, doing a paint by numbers in 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 the early stages, where uh, where I know what it is, and you guys can guess. So that's that. Yeah, it's uh, it's coming together. I'm gonna have to let it dry um, before I can tackle a lot of the details. But yeah, I can just get in and kind of do areas that are not on the edge, which need a bit more precise painting and precision. So, but I wanted to get this project started. Because Halloween is coming. I do love, I do love this time of year. The darker nights, cold. Well, not a fan of the cold, but you know, we get Halloween and Christmas for it. To cheer us up. There's one here, which I think is off screen. Let me just turn it and see if it's on screen. Yeah, it's. Oh, oh, it's barely on screen, but we'll have a go. Yeah, it's barely on screen, so. Very difficult to, like, you know, you know this from before. Very difficult for me to get things, to get everything I'm painting on screen. But I do try my best to get everything on screen. What else have I been watching? 
Um, oh yeah, I was watching the other way. I dip, I dip in and out of shores, jump here, there, here, there, and everywhere. So I continued with season six, twenty-four. Because it does a recap at the start of each episode, you can you can kind of jump in and out of it, which is great. So I've kind of dipped back into that. I've got season seven ready for when I finish this. So I do. I keep forgetting about um, The Walking Dead, Dead City, and uh, CSI season two, CSI Vegas season two, shall I say, the new one. Um, I keep forgetting about them, but. I'm sure I'll end up reminding myself about these. Yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. But Strange New Worlds, I do like it. It has the odd episode that kind of harks back to the original series, which I don't like. Um, but I do like the show. I do like uh, Anson, uh, Anson Mount, who plays Pike. He's a great captain. I like I like I like most of the characters as well. I'd say pretty much all of the characters. I do I do like them. And they kind of they're just they're just really good at telling stories in this show. They just tell really really good rich stories, um, opening up people's past. Although Laan Nunian Singh, I think her past will probably be revealed in the third season maybe I don't know but we're getting to know uh, Sam Kirk more we're getting to see more of Jim Kirk in this who who is is an end is an ensign in this so he's got quite a while, a while to go before he becomes captain of the Enterprise if he's an ensign he's not even he's not even a lieutenant yet. And I think he makes all his career moves um, off the Enterprise and then becomes, I think he becomes captain of the Enterprise. That's when he becomes captain. I don't think he becomes captain of somewhere else. You know, like, like Picard. Now, I don't know if Picard was captain of the Stargazer. I don't know doesn't really say but mm, this is starting to look good well, we're starting anyway we started it now um, there's a 19 there but it's hard to get to that's a 16 so I've got it upside down so it's kind of <laughs> got to be careful got to be careful that's a 19 there Stretch across. Ooh, careful. The edges are silencing me again. My hands are not covering over what I'm painting because that that's not good. The other reason I'm not using the streaming camera is because I do need a new uh, computer, and as I checked, I can't just buy a computer. I have to buy a new monitor as well because it's an old monitor with an older computer. Remember, you know the like I think it's sixteen prongs. How old old monitors attached? So the monitor attaches to, to the sixteen prongs. Um, there's no uh, 
there's no uh, USB connection to the monitor to connect the monitor to a new computer so I'm gonna to have to buy a new monitor as well uh, so so I'll buy one and then the other but I can't buy them both together because I can't afford to do that so I can have a new tower but I can't do anything with it until I've got a new monitor which is gonna and then, and then when I get them together I'm going to have to um, take everything off the computer save it uh, put together the new computer reboot the new computer um, and and then put everything back on so that's going to take a while and there's a 19 there that I can start it's all really coming coming on Yeah, so so I'll be continuing with the uh, recordings on the iPhone in the meantime. So, which is fine. I can work with it now. It's fine. There's another 19 there. Get my hand in. Yeah, so season six of twenty-four. That show just gets better and better. Each season is just amazing. Even even from season one, it's just it was just just an amazing show. I have season seven and eight and nine to watch, and also there was like a spin-off uh, set in Africa when there was a writer strike on and they couldn't do a full season. So that was quite clever that they gave us something during that time. As I said, this this new writer strike that's going to last a long time. That's quite a big nineteen there. Um, that I'm going that I'll have to wait until this paint dries because it's very difficult to paint. Well, a lot of the areas are still wet. So so what I'll do is I'll close that paint for now. I'll, I'll spin the canvas round the right way around so it kind of looks like what it's supposed to look like. So you've kind of made a quite an impact full start using the black where we will continue so you might might be guessing at things that you see in and going oh I recognize that I'm not I'm not even going to debate it I'll just let you decide if what you think it is and you can let me know but this is where I'm going to leave this first video. I'd like to thank you for your company here at Nerd Creative. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.